this uh, 69 year old lady was referred to us uh, for a history of uh, recent onset uh, iron deficiency anemia, uh, weight abdominal pain, and weight loss. As you can see, we've entered the uh, sigmoid colon where there is an appearance of a very uh, benign stricture uh, at the sigmoid uh, junction. Uh, we are unable to uh, pass a scope through uh, this narrowed lesion, uh, and there's no obvious significant uh, diabetic disease surrounding this and there's no significant pathology suggestive or neoplastic process. What we're doing here is taking a, a through the scope balloon, uh, which is a 15 millimeter balloon, and we dilate the stricture up to uh, seven atmospheres. And this should be uh, kept in place for at least one to two minutes to achieve controlled radial expansion of the balloon to achieve um, useful, meaningful dilatation of the uh, benign stricture that we've noted in the rectosigmoid junction. So as you can see here, the balloon is uh, inflated to seven atmospheres, and we will uh, hold on to this uh, controlled expansion of the balloon for another one minute till we achieve uh, good dilatation of the stricture. Uh, we don't routinely uh, biopsy these very benign looking strictures as uh, there is no evidence of neoplasia. And as you can see here, after a minute of dilatation, we can quite easily pass uh, the scope over the balloon and enter the uh, proximal colon with ease. Once again, there is no obvious pathology surrounding this, hence we continue our uh, hunt for the iron deficiency anemia that we noted in this uh, elderly lady. Over here you see a bluish hue, uh, which could signify either the splenic uh, or the uh, liver uh, shadows, which would appear as a hue, uh, bluish hue, and uh, that would signify where you are. Uh, we've entered the terminal ileum now here, and as you can see, there is uh, quite a lot of uh, a marked uh, terminal ileitis with some erosions, and as you can see, the beautiful villi here on narrowband imaging, uh, which uh, appear wonderful at this stage. Uh, as we come back, we can see a small ulcer in the uh, proximal ileum uh, with uh, some bleeding at the base of the ulcer, and on closer look, as you see now, uh, after washing uh, the ulcer, the bleeding reappears very nicely, and you can see a small spot of blood. This may very well explain her uh, anemia uh, at this stage. And as you can see, we repeated washings, and the blood keeps coming back. And in these circumstances, we should treat these patients with endotherapy to ensure that this uh, deep ileal ulcer and the bleeding, as a consequence of that, should be stopped to achieve... Uh, resolution of the anemia. The options in this case would be to use uh, argon plasma coagulation at uh, a lower watts, maybe 20 to 25 watts, or the other option would be to use uh, a bipolar uh, heater probe to uh, coagulate the base of the vessel. This is exactly what we're doing now here with a bipolar uh, heater probe, and we will fulgurate the uh, bleeding vessel uh, successfully. Uh, we don't tend to recommend a monopolar probe as uh, there will be high risk of perforation in the ileum and this should not be practiced at all in the current uh, setting. Uh, as you see, there was a very good uh, result from the fulguration and we come back into the uh, colon to have a very good look uh, at the remaining colon, which we do. And as we come down, we come to the strictured segment which you notice in the beginning. There is some transported blood from a recent dilatation, but certainly there's no evidence of any neoplastic process or any diabetic disease or, or any of the pathology accounting for this benign stricture. Uh, we evaluate this in detail, and uh, we evaluate the bottom of, of the colon, and there is all normal. Thank you.